it going guys? So I'm going to show a good old classic Irish song now. So this is uh, the Night Visiting song and it's Luke Kelly. And um, that is one of my favourite Luke Kelly songs. This is a good one. So um, I hope you enjoy this. And um, I have a nice easy enough strumming pattern to go along with the song. So anybody, even learners now should be able to pick this up. It's three open chords. So it's three basically, basically beginner chords. To play this song and uh, the only thing that's tricky is that it changes a little bit throughout it but it's the same cycle of chords the whole way through just going over and over again so it's not too bad there's just a few little changes in it and that and quick ch chord changes so it's very good practice and um, i hope you enjoy this guys please like and subscribe and um, i have a paypal donate link in the description to all my videos so any amount donated at all would be greatly appreciated and um, more than anything thank you for watching the video so <coughs> I'm going to get straight into the lesson guys so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the cards I'm going to need now before I start I'm going to say if you get confused anywhere in this video go back to where you were on top of things and you know what was going on don't be afraid to re rewind the video and keep w watching it over again because repetition is the key with this sort of thing so if you wanted to sink in just keep going back and watching the bit again and eventually you'll get it so I'm gonna go through the cards with you first, right? So they're basically basic cards. So first card you're gonna need is a G. So you're gonna be on the third fret of the low E string. You're gonna be on the second fret of the A string. You're gonna be on the third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. Now you can play that G, or you can leave the B string out and just push in the high E string on the third fret. So it's up to yourselves. I, I usually use this one for it. So third fret low E, second fret A. Third for a high. Um, that's G. So the second card you're going to need is a C card. So you're going to be on the third fret of the A string. And on the second fret of the G string, you're going to be on the first fret of the B string. Third fret A, second fret G, first fret B. You're going to strum this down from the A. Card. You can mess around with that card a lot guys once you get used to it. So G, C, last card you're going to need for this song is a D card. So you're going to be on the second fret of the high E string, you're going to be on the second fret of the G string and you're going to be on the third fret of the B string. Second fret high E, third fret B, 2nd fret G and you're going to strum this from the D string so there you go so G either G C and D now to start this song you usually put a little so that's the first thing you're going to do so you're going to be in the G chord and you're going to hit the low E string on the third fret and the G, you're going to have the G chord pushed in then you're going to take your index finger off the second fret of the A you're going to go so you're going to hit the A string open then you're going to hit it on it so you don't have to have your finger on the high E if you don't want to right so you're going to hit the third fret of the E you're going to hit the open A then the second fret of A then you're going to go straight to a C chord alright so Now, the strumming I decided, the strumming I said I'd use for this is like a wall strum, so it's... So what you're doing is you're going to pick the bass note of the chord you're in, so on this one it's A and D says, so you're going to go pick, down, up, down, up, pick, down, up, down, up, pick, down, up, down, up. That's the way the strumming's going to go on this song, and when I'm teaching this now I'm going to say so say we're going to the C chord for two so if I say two that means one two right so one two so each one of them pick down up down up that's one so one two three four right guys so that's the way I'm going to play it so when you start the song you're going to hit the third fret low E Open A, second fret A, straight into the C chord, pick, down, up, down, up, so just one, and 
goes straight to the G. So pick down, up, down, up, G. And I think that's for three beats, right? So one, one, two, three. So three beats there. Pick down, up, down, up, pick down, up, down, up, pick down, up, down, up. Right, so right from the start. One, 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 two, three. Now you're gonna go to D chord. One, just for one beat, and then back to G. One, two. All right, so right from the start, guys. on the G then okay so right from the start a little riff one one two three one one two now after this G chord you're going to go to the C chord one just one then back to G one two and then after that two you're gonna go to D. One, two, three, four. That must be right, so four on the D. So from the start, guys, now and you know the way I said, if you get confused, go back and find where you were. And if you keep following from the start of the video the amount of beats you're on, you'll get the hang of the song. Listen to the song a few times as well. It's a brilliant song, so this one's well worth learning. So right from the start, I'm just going to count out the number of the chords, all right? One. One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Now we're going back to G from here. One. Two. Three, four. All right, so it was four on the D, and then four on the G again, all right? So right from the start, I'm gonna play it again. I hope I'm not nine years doing this, but it's a way that you definitely won't get mixed up, because these chord cycles, all right, this is the way this is gonna change. It's gonna change like this every time with this amount of beats, but it's not going to, you're not gonna have any other parts to learn. This is it. So when you learn, from the start of what I'm showing you to the end, then that's it, it's not going to change, so you know the song, right? So, C card for one, G, three, one on D, two on G, one on C, two on G, four on D, three, four, Four on G. Now C one. So C one. Back to G. One, two. All right. So two on G when you get back to G. All right. So from the D, remember the four strums on the D, and you had four strums on the G. All right. So I'm gonna play it from the start again, so you'll get it. C one. One, two, three, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. Now when you get to here, it's going to be a quick change of all the chords, alright? I'll show you now, but it's only one beat, so you're going to go C, 1, G, 1, D, 1, G, 1. And back to the start again. And that's it, that's the way the song will keep going, guys. It's not going to change. So it's going to keep going like that, guys. And um, there's no change, that's it. So right from the start, I'm going to play the whole verse through, right? Three, four, one, two, 
cycles it's going to keep going like that over and over and over again <coughs> so what I would do if I was you when I start even learning this the first time you start learning when I start showing that you learn each chord as I'm teaching it, and you learn how many beats you have to do in that chord and practice doing it before you go to the next chord and by the time you get to the very last chord you're gonna know the song you're gonna know it like so it's a good song that is a good Lou Kelly song like it's a nice one and um, I hope you enjoy that Thanks for watching. I'm going to put up a video on my right hand to show you what. Right, guys, so right from the start of the song, yeah? Thanks guys, good luck. 